Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna review the HTC2 hygrometer clock and humidity temperature device which I got from the local online store here. So what what the device does is pretty much actually measuring and displaying the temperature. It has two, uh, I, would, I would say, sections around here. It's in and out, which obviously in for indoor temperature and out is for outdoor temperature. And the device is also capable of measuring indoor humidity level. And as you can see, there's a long thin cable here, which I placed the sensor slightly out of my window so that it could really measure the correct outdoor temperature. And the indoor temperature, you don't have to do anything because it's um, inbuilt in the device. It's pretty easy and pretty simple to use. Even during your first setup, you should not have technical issue. You could just um, click. There's some um, three buttons here, as you can see: a mode adjustments button and memory button. So the mode button will do what mode button will do is setting up your clock. When you want to set your clock, click that mode button. And adjustment button is for date setup and memory. This is, um, I would say, the best feature of the device. It could actually show you the minimum and the maximum temperature has ever recorded uh, in the device. Well, why well, you should get this device? I mean, I don't say your iPhone weather apps doesn't give you an accurate um, temperature or accurate weather. I mean, I rely a lot on iPhone weather apps. Or probably Android weather apps you know it just it just as reliable as any other device it's just that I want um to see it myself like to measure it by myself though I I, I believe this this device only um, measure the exact temperature without you know considering all the air pressure all the um, you know all those um, meteorological things that I have no idea about so I know even this device is actually measuring the current temperature as 38.2 my weather apps is showing as 30 so yep there's a slight um, difference there but it's still fun to to have this device to see the, the temperature by yourself and to measure the temperature by yourself and it's pretty cheap it's not that expensive you just have to uh, do some survey and get the cheapest one if you could and, and so far i'm pretty satisfied getting this device and i think you should get it too so if you have any questions just drop it down the comment below and i'll try to answer you when i have time so again thank you very much for watching my channel and I hope to, to see you again and I'll hope that I could review another thing in the future. Thank you very much guys. Bye bye. See you.